Hello everyone and welcome back to the Unideck tutorial series. My name is Marius Kostelik and I'm a graduate student in the Marty Lab and in this video we will be introducing data processing features in Unideck. In part 3 we will cover advanced data processing options in Unideck. In part one of this series, we learned how to import mass spectra into Unideck. And now that our data is in Unideck, we can begin the processing of it for the best deconvolution possible. We begin processing our data by selecting an M over Z range, and this can be done in a number of ways. E can manually enter an M over Z range. I'm going to pick a minimum of 5,000 and a maximum of 15,000. Don't forget to click this data process button. And once we do that, you'll see that our spectrum range has been narrowed to our minimum and maximum that we've set. The other option is to left click and drag across the spectrum to zoom into our area of interest. And once we've adequately zoomed in, go ahead and right click and you'll see that the minimum and maximum value here is now reflected in this M over Z window. And we don't have to process the data because once you right click it automatically uh, saves that information. We see off to the right there's this full button and this allows full visualization of our mass spectrum if we want to revert all the changes that we've made to this M over Z range. Once we've clicked this process data button or right clicked on our spectrum Unideck creates a file with the processed mass spectrum. So if we open the folder where this data originally came from, you'll see another folder with the same file name just with an underscore Unideck files. If we open this folder, you'll see a file with that data name underscore input. And if we open this with notepad, you'll find a list of X and Y coordinates, and these are the coordinates of the mass spectrum in Unideck. You can use this file for plotting and other programs if you're interested. Other files in the folder include a copy of the raw data and the config file that contains all of the parameters in Unideck set for this data. Let's X out of the data folder. If we look back to the M over Z range, we see that there's a very simple way to background subtract the data. If we click this and look at our spectrum and hit process data, Unideck will automatically subtract the background. If we click off the background subtraction button, and hit process, it will no longer use the background subtraction. Now, there are more advanced parameters that affect not only the background subtraction, but also how the data is processed. And in the next video, I'll be going through how each of these parameters affect the data. Thank you for choosing Unideck.